Despite his frequent and strong criticism of the New Jersey Supreme Court, Governor Christie today ended months of speculation in the legal community by reappointing the court's Chief Justice, Stuart Rabner. I have expressed very clearly my disagreements with this court, and, and I've expressed very clearly at times um, disagreements that I've had with individual opinions of the court. That being said, though, uh, there was, I don't think, a louder or stronger voice seven years ago uh, for Stuart Rabner to become the Chief Justice of the New Jersey Supreme Court. And over the last seven years that I've watched him be the Chief Justice, um, my respect for him has never been diminished. I've disagreed with him, and I've expressed that publicly. The governor also nominated Lee Solomon for a seat on the high court. He's a former assemblyman, BPU president, and currently the Camden County assignment judge. There is a, no one I've met in public life who is a more universally well-liked and well-respected person than Judge Lee Solomon. Christie and Rabner worked together in the U.S. Attorney's Office, and Christie recommended Rabner when Governor Corzine needed a chief counsel. The two consider themselves friends, despite deep differences on issues like gay marriage, school funding, and affordable housing. I am so grateful, so particularly grateful, um, both personally and to the extent that anyone can actually step back at a moment like this on behalf of the institution of the judiciary that I care so deeply about. I'm so very grateful that the governor has submitted my name to the Senate uh, for a reconfirmation hearing. Governor, I thank you for the extraordinary honor that you have bestowed on me today. Rabner is a Democrat, first appointed by a Democratic governor, and Solomon is a Republican from South Jersey. Today's appointments, following a long and bitter partisan struggle over the judiciary, were mutually agreed to by Christie and Senate President Steve Sweeney. For the people of the state of New Jersey to put this controversy behind them now, to eliminate the uncertainty of what's going on with our justice system, is a, an enormous win. Christie was asked how reappointing Rabner squares with his vow to remake the high court. What today is is the product of a compromise that's been four and a half years in the making. Uh, and the fact is that the court is significantly different today than it was when I became the governor. If uh, we see the confirmation of Judge Solomon, um, you'll see three new justices on the New Jersey Supreme Court that were nominated by me and confirmed by the Senate. If that happens, there will still be one vacancy on the court, which Christie is in no hurry to fill. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.